it is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I'll be guiding you through a variety of skills within Microsoft Office. I have a long list of tools and skills that I can do videos on, but for today I think I'll begin with tables in Word. Seems to be a popular thing to know how to do. Um, but please leave a comment below with whatever skills and um, Microsoft program you want me to do in my next video on. So let's get started. To do a table, well first of all I would suggest that you type whatever it is you want above your table. Um, I'm going to just do a couple of examples. The first one being a chore chart, because that's always a fun one for the kids. Actually it's for the moms. So you can write chores or whatever you want to call it and then hit enter there. And then what you want to do is you want to come to insert. And right here it says table. Now there's a couple ways to do it. One, you have all these boxes here <clears throat> and you can just um, hover over whatever number of columns and rows that you want in your table if you know. If there's not enough here then you can come down to insert table and that brings this box. And you can put in exactly how many columns and how many rows that you want. So let's see, we're going to do one, two, three, four, maybe five columns and maybe four. We'll start there. We can always add more or take some away. This down here has to do with how big your um, columns width are and um, fitting the contents in. I'm going to leave everything just as is. So that just gives us something to start with. Then you can start typing in just as you would if you were outside of the table. So you can type name. Um, let's see, what kind of chores are they going to do? Maybe they'll vacuum. Oops, oops if I spell it right. Uh, they can maybe dust. Um, and to get from one box to the next, I'm just hitting my tab key on my keyboard. I'm going to say where they're going to clean the bathroom. And let's do one more. Let's have them pick up their toys. Pick up toys. Okay, now we're going to say who are our children. Let's say John, Emily. These are completely made up. I just love these names. And Sammy. Okay, so now what you do is if they were to do their chore, you can always just put an X in here or whatever it is you want to fill it in with. You can even um, put a little cute little picture in here if you want to, or you can print it out and put stickers in. Now, of course, right now they're teeny tiny little boxes, so we want to make them bigger. To do that, you're going to come all the way over to the left here. You see that there's a black arrow. When I'm inside the box, it's, it's an I, an I beam, my mouse pointer. All the way over here, it turns to a black arrow. If I click and drag my mouse down, I can now come up top here to layout. And here's my height and here's my width. Now, right now we've highlighted the rows, so we're going to do our height. See, it's going as I click the button. So you just keep clicking until it's the desired height. Maybe you want to put stickers in there so you want it to be somewhat fat. Maybe that first one we don't want quite so fat because that's just our titles. So I'm going to only highlight the top row and make that just a bit smaller. And there's our chart. Or not chart, our table, sorry. Okay, now something fun you can do is put some color into it. If you click inside your table here, your table design, right here are all sorts of designs. Now if you click this arrow, it gives you more. Look at them all. But now it's like, what's your favorite color? Um, let's see, we'll pick a nice one like that. And it will accent our titles up top and our names on the side. But you don't have to do it that way. You can pick a different color or you can do your own shading. If I want, instead of blue, I want it to be maybe my favorite color. I come over here to my shading. Shading. And I'm going to pick purple. I just love purple. And then to highlight these names, if I go right above 
the column, it turns to another black arrow pointing down. Clicking that will highlight just that column. And I'm going to click this box this time instead of clicking the down arrow because I already have purple selected. So if I just click right here, it will make it purple. Isn't that fun? All right. Now another example I thought of was a calendar. Some people like to make their own calendar so they can put whatever they want on it. So once again, you'd come up to insert, table. Now calendar is pretty large, so <clears throat> probably up here it tells you um, what your columns are. So it says two x one, so two by one, two columns, one row. This ten, <laughs> ten columns, eight rows might not be enough for your uh, calendar. So once again, I'd come down to insert table down here and put in what I want. Which, let's see, we know there are seven days in the week, so we'll do seven columns. We'll start off with five. We'll say, okay. Now, I'm going to come just above my calendar here. I think instead of putting something above my calendar, I'm going to put it right inside. This way I could show you another feature. So we are going to put in our days of the week. Okay, and then depending on what month you're doing, you have to know where each date is. Now I'm going to do July of 2017. Notice I don't have that written up here. It's like, oh no, I forgot to put it up there. Well, that's no problem. We're going to add a row. So come all the way to the side here, find your black arrow, and click once. And actually, yes. Then you're going to come up to layout. Where is it? Where are you? There it is, insert. So there's four different ways you can insert things. You can insert uh, rows, one above or below, or you can insert columns to the left or to the right of where you're at. So where I'm at, I wanna put something above. So there we go, now we have space. Now you can see there's a lot of boxes. We only need one big box. So I'm gonna come inside this first box, I'm going to click and drag all the way over. So it highlights all seven boxes. And right up here, still under the layout, is Merge Cells. That's going to take all the cells that I've highlighted and make them one, merging them together. Now I could put July 2017. I can center that right up here. And I can make it look pretty later. For now, I'm just getting my information in. So now I'm going to, I can put all my numbers in. You see I ran out of room, but I still have more dates. So all I have to do is hit my tab key and it's gonna automatically give me another row. And once again, I've come to the end, but I still have more dates. So I'm gonna hit tab and I have another row. Okay. Now, this of course is teeny tiny and that is not enough for us to write down all of our fun activities we do in a month. So we're going to make our boxes a tad bit bigger. Now I'm gonna leave the top one small for now. I'm just gonna click here, going all the way to the side, click and drag down. And once again, come up here to my height under the layout and make it my desired, just depends on how much you're gonna be doing that day or that month. It's beauty of making your own calendar. I'll just make it one to make it a nice round number. Oops, I went to the next page. That's okay. All right. 
guys. Maybe I won't be doing that. <laughs> it's all right. We live and learn. So come back up here, and we'll just make it one shorter. There we go. We got them all in there now. Okay. And you can once again dress it up if you want. Come into table design, make it look pretty. You can do one that's here for you, or you can uh, choose your own colors. Just so I'll do the blue. There we go. And again, it's up to you how you want it to look. If you want a different, you want your month to stand out. Under the home, you can just change your font size. There we go. Okay. And that is tables. So once again, leave a comment below with anything you want me to go over next. Otherwise, I'm just going to go down my list. Click the like if you like this video, and hope to see you next time. Bye.